So we are making culinary our work in Cook's Corner today. We're joined by the folks from Southern New Hampshire University, uh, Chef Stefan Rill. Thank you for being back here. Appreciate it. And Casey Oriama, one of the seniors over there in the culinary program. Uh, what are we making today? We are making a nice little winter dessert. We have a red and white wine poached pear. Okay. So what we do in this case, we're poaching our pears in different wines, one in red wine, one in white wine. Um, the ratio for the white wine, for the red wine, you want to use about two cups of um, red wine and like two tablespoons of sugar, a little bit more. Oh, sugar, For your okay. white wine, you want to use about the same amount, two cups of white wine, and just one um, teaspoon of uh, sugar because the white wine has a more sweeter consistency. Got it. And then That's when you sure. combine them together, you have to create savory flavor from the red wine and the sweetness from the white wine, so it comes to a beautiful dessert. Now, poached pears. Yeah. How do we prepare our pears? So, um, Casey just did. She um, peeled the pears, we we'll cut the bottom off, and then we take out the core. If you want to show them this quick, how you took it out. So you take the core, make sure you core them out. Core it out, okay. And you also got to make sure you cut the bottoms off a little bit so they stand up nicely on your plate for plate ah, presentation. for presentation, got then it. Then we'll put them into the liquid, and we'll let them simmer for about um, 15 to 20 minutes. Depends on your pear, if they're a bit more tart. You want them nice, soft, but not too poor, much to they fall apart. So nice, I tend to crunch to it. Um, this is how they look when they're run. So you just glaze them in the end a little bit, and you see how beautiful the liquid got observed by the red wine. And by yeah, the it white becomes pears. totally red. That's yeah, really neat. That's okay. a nice color on there. And the flavor goes in very well. And then for presentation, Casey will show a little sauce painting trick. This is where the oh. artwork happens And here. by the way, the sauces, we would use um, the red wine down and fink it up with some stirring, some cornstarch, and the same thing with the white wine. So you get nice little dessert sauces. Casey, have you ever screwed that up before? Yes, I have. No, I'm sure you <laughs> haven't. That was really cool. I'm though. perfecting it right now. <laughs> she does it perfect. All right. Now, while you're doing that, you guys have a restaurant over there. Talk a little bit about, for folks who want to try it out, how you do that. Yes, we do. It is our student-run on-campus restaurant. We run lunch Monday, Tuesday, and Friday from 11.15 to 12.30 we see. And for dinners, we do Wednesdays and I know, Wednesday night and Thursday night yep. from... Five to seven, we see. Yeah, and you're gonna call ahead and make reservations six two nine four six zero eight, or you can go to snhu.edu/restaurant for information on that. If you've never been over there, this is a student-run restaurant. It's very good food, and look at this. See, the problem with that is you put that down, and I don't, I don't want to eat that now. I want to take a picture of it. <laughs> a nice little trick I forgot to tell you. If you have some liquid left over, yeah. you can throw this into your ice cream machine. It makes a beautiful sorbet. A nice little uh, red wine flavor into it, so nothing gets wasted. You can serve it on the side. Very neat. very well as well. What are your big plans, Casey? Celebrity uh, chef someday? <laughs> of course. Okay. Hoping to be on TV like you. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. For more information, again, snhu.edu slash restaurant. Uh, Stefan Real and Casey Oriama, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank Look you at that us. final product. Piece of artwork right there. That does it for us.